Well, folks, take one last look. One last look at the length of this hair. Look at that. Look at that. Because it's going to be gone. Well, not all of it. I'm only going to chop about 9 or 10 inches off. But it'll be much shorter when you see me later in the video. Now, for those of you who are curious, I do do a hair donation uh, as often as I can. Uh, because, well, I have a lot of family members and friends that have fought cancer. And cancer comes with some really tough and harsh realities depending upon the kind of treatment schedule you're on. So... If you're interested in the process and everything else, we'll get into that in this video. But for now, sit back, hang out, and we'll show you a new me. Here we go. All right, well, let's start here. First of all, I about wiped out getting into the chair here. That was a lot of fun. But I'm getting all set up. Now, the uh, hairstylist that I work with is a trusted, trusted stylist done my hair a couple of times and does, does a really good job and especially helps out for these donations. He takes care of a lot of things so that I don't have to. And as you look here at the uh, the measurement to make sure that he's getting at least 10 inches, I think it was closer to, to a foot long. We finally measured it out again. Um, he just wanted to be extra sure that there was plenty on both ends uh, for uh, the uh, donation company to work with. Yeah, so he's measured out 11, 12 inches. By the time we're done, it'll be about 12 inches where he marks the cut. So um, he is uh, very skilled, knows what he's doing. And uh, oh, here we go. Oh no, I'm just a little bit apprehensive. Interestingly enough, uh, he does follow uh, follow my channel and keeps tabs on me. Also, is very knowledgeable about social media. I was trying to encourage him to actually do it. Was hoping he would. Here's the final snip. Oh goodness! Bye bye hair. And that's that. Whoa! Look at that. <sighs> I got the Lord Farquaad. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Again. Yeah. I'm back to Lord Farquaad, at least for the the next little bit here. And that's okay. It's all for a worthy cause. Now, he makes sure to uh, kind of add a little bit of layer in here and, you know, trim it up so it doesn't look so uneven. I always think that this is going to be pretty easy, but it's not. Uh, just because you pull your hair back and have somebody cut it off uh, does not mean that... Um, it's going to be straight, so it needed to be worked on and quite a bit. Now, as I'll say at the end of the video here today, and, and I'll say right now, uh, my hair is starting to thin a little bit. So um, while I don't have bald spots per se, it, it's getting thinner because I'm getting older. So these donations likely won't be something that I can continue to do the rest of my life. But for as long as I can, I will. And this is a really important cause to me. It allows me to uh, share something that I was blessed with, a whole lot of hair, uh, with other people who uh, are going through something. They're going through a lot of something. Uh, they're going through various types of treatment programs, and it causes so much stress on their body that they lose their hair. And that's just, it's rough. It's a self-esteem thing. And, uh, and sometimes it's, it's much more, especially for young people. You know, older people alike like to look good. But um, the good news here is that uh, they're getting very long, strong hair that I take very good care of. I do not color my hair. This and I can actually be colored if it needs to be. Um, and uh, it's very easy for them to treat. My hair was also getting a little bit frizzy in places, so this was probably the right time to do the donation. As you can see, I've layered gray in with the the black and the brown tones. It's very strange uh, that that my hair is the, you know three or four different colors right now, naturally. Uh, the white is really starting to mix in with the gray. But uh, the... Uh, Various different organizations, it, it, and again, I, I locks of love and many of the other donation places that you can you can go to. Um, they do a great job of, of of getting the wigs together, and some some of the some of the charities don't charge for the wigs, and some do. Um, 
the hair is free from people like me. So, wow, that's really short. <laughs> wow, that's really short. Oi, uh, but the stylist is doing a great job here trying to make everything line up. I'm going to have to go back in and get it get it layered up so that it doesn't curl so much. I know that I'll have to make another visit. Hopefully he has the time to fit me into his busy schedule. Oh, look at that. You can see I'm a little... I'm, I'm struggling because you can see the little uh, wrinkle in my forehead. I don't usually see wrinkles in my forehead. And around my eyes, I'm starting to get... Oof. Crow's feet. Look at that old guy there. Beard is getting a little raggedy too. My goodness. Well, I have to do some work on that this week. But for those of you who don't know, cancer runs rampant in my family and friends. And it's important to me to make sure that um, I can do whatever I can. Uh, you know, obviously in person you can do a lot for people when they're going through that kind of thing. You can support them, bring them meals, you know, keep them company, especially if they're going through something like chemo. Uh, if, the, if the treatment center allows for that, that's probably, that's probably pretty good. Um, the uh, process of any of these treatments is a little rough. I feel very, uh, I feel very much for people that are going through that because I've seen it in so many family members. And the and the stylist will make you feel comfortable because you know for some people this may not be as easy as it is for me. Some people may be very very worried or disturbed uh, about this process. I can understand why. Here's a very personal thing. But at the end of it all, somebody is going to get a pretty decent head of, head of hair out of this. A nice wig or maybe two or three. I still, despite the thinning that's going on in certain places around the edges, I still have very thick hair. Yeah, look at that. Zoom in. See, you can see I'm thinning in the front there. That's, yeah. Uh, I'm not that vain. I don't care. I like the the mixed colors coming out the back of my hair. It's crazy. It looks like a cat pattern. You know, you never see the back of your head. It's very rare. Ah, and there we are. That's the donation bit. They're going to have to clean up the bottoms, but for the most part, it's a decent chunk of hair. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video today. I really appreciate it. And oh, well, I've got an outro for you with the with the reveal. The reveal's coming up in just a second. Stick around. And now for the reveal. That's right. Lord Farquaad, round two. Have fun, everybody. But understand that what I do is for others, and I will continue to do it about every year and a half or two. And I will continue to do this until I can't any longer, or at least one more cycle. I imagine that my hair will get thinner over time as I get older, so it's quite possible I may only get one more donation. But it's totally worth it. And I would encourage you, if you're capable of doing similar things, because it really can change somebody's life for the better at a time when they're going through something that's just absolutely terrible. Thanks for watching this video, and thanks for supporting my channel. Uh, it's because of you that I'm able to do things like this, and, uh, well, I just want to say thanks. Have a great day, everybody. See ya!